hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for take today we are introducing most stable and perfect custom rom for your oneplus nord 2 that is arrows os few days before we posted the short video for the new arrows os by the geo and his developer team after using this rom almost a week i found it is the most stable smooth and best performing rom out there till the date for the oneplus nord 2 flashing of this rom is simple you need twrp 3.7 its link is given under the video description, boot to TWRP, then flash the ROM zip file, then flash GF's package, format data and reboot to system. Today in this video, we will see complete walkthrough of ROM, what's working including the full camera test, performance with the CPU stability test, features available in this vanilla build, finally I shown some bugs with my final verdict, why this is my currently most favorite custom ROM. So watch the video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. On a new adventure. After flashing this ROM, we will get this amazing looking boot animation. Phone booted with the arrows launcher, we did not get the pixel launcher in this ROM. Let's check out the about phone section. This is the Arrows OS 13 Vanilla unofficial build based on the Android 13 with the same material clocked asterisk. Sadly, ROM is still on January security patches. Maybe soon developer will release mass security patch build. Kernel version is 4.14.302, build date with the Proton Clank toolchain. Build date of ROM is 15th March 2023. As we are reviewing this ROM first time, I tested all the essential things like both the Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi hotspot. They are working very good along with the stable connections. Bluetooth is working with all the HD codecs like the SBC, ACC, APTX and LDAC. NFC, GPS both are working fine. OnePlus Signature feature Alert Slider is working perfectly which was missing for most of custom ROMs. All the sensors like the accelerometer, gyroscope, compass, magnetometer are working fine. The issue of light sensor not detecting is still persisting here, but we actually checked the light sensor, it's now working perfectly. Other essential things like the ear proximity, microphone, ear speaker, flashlight, multi-touch, display, all are working fine. Now comes the most important part that is ROM supports the 5G network for the both the Geo and Airtel sims in India. Wi-Fi calling is available and that is also working fine. VLT incoming and outgoing calls are working fine. Fingerprint sensor working fine without any light flash issue. ROM has the face unlock and both fingerprint and the face unlock are fast and accurate. Now let's check out the camera. ROM didn't come with any fancy camera application. It has the normal camera application, so I installed the Google Gcam MGC build. Its link is given under the video description. It has working night mode, portrait mode for the both the front and the main camera are working. All portrait shots has the nice blur effect. Camera mode has the lots of tunables like the HDR, HDR plus with the frame control. All the wide angle camera modes are working. Video mode has the slow motion working. Here is a sample. Time lapse is already working for all the custom ROMs. Both the panorama and the photosphere modes are working. The most surprising part is that 4K 60fps recording is available and it's working. I did the video shooting with the 4K 60fps recording and it shooted fine. So finally, this custom ROM got fully working third party camera application. You can try this Gcam version 8.7.250. Use this in other custom ROMs and let us know if it's fully working for you or not. Now let's check out the safety related things. First one is safety net and it's got successfully passed. So we can run all the banking and security applications in this ROM. Wide one security is on L1 so we can play Netflix and the Amazon Prime at the full HD resolution. Device Play Protect is certified. Device storage is encrypted, so no worry if your password locker device misplaced or stolen, so no one can decrypt its data, so all the security related checks are passed in this ROM. Now it's time to test the performance. ROM is absolutely stunning, it's fast and very fluid. ROM runs on the adapt to refresh rate mode by default. When device not in use, it goes to the lowest FPS, that is 60. 
and as soon as we touches the screen it goes to the high refresh level that is 90 if we enable the force 90 hz setting under the oneplus setting whole system will runs on the 90 fps even camera application will run at the higher fps i didn't see this in any custom rom for the 9rt and oneplus 6 there are some applications like the camera runs on the lower fps though we enable the force fps so not to has such amazing custom rom that no other phone offers when i did the geekbench test i got the score of 1161 and 3017 for the single and multi core respectively these results are absolutely stunning these are very good results when i did the open gel graphics api test there i got the score of 4480 and for the hulkan graphics api i got the score of 4638 both of these scores are very good, so overall numerical and real life performance of this ROM is absolutely great. You will not feel any kind of lag while using the ROM for the day to day task. Now it's time to check the CPU stability at the higher temperatures and the heavy task. I ran the CPU throttling test at the 20 threads for 5 minutes. All the tests went smoothly without any heavy red or the yellow lines. After 5 minutes when I stopped the test, I got the score of 87% which is good result. If we check all the Android 12 and the latest Android 13 Oxygen stock ROM, they are giving very bad results below 75%. So this custom ROM has very good capability for handling heavy intensive tasks without dropping the CPU performance. Now let's check out the features available in the ROM. As this is the vanilla build, we didn't get much features. But the basic features like the display color mode is available under the display setting of the device. Who gets the double tap to wake and double tap to sleep toggles, both are working fine on the lock screen. Who gets the full screen app option to enable the full screen mode for the non-supported applications if they are not using full screen for the punch hole display. We also get the show data users toggle which will help to display the data users under the quick setting panel. Ignore Windows Secure Flag Toggle removes the screenshot and screen record limits for all the applications. Under Ambient Display Gesture tab, we okay, get some interesting features like the hand wave for the AOD mode. We have to just wave the hand over the proximity sensor to wake the device always on display mode. Pocket mode which pulse the AOD when we remove the phone from the pocket. Instead of this main display setting, we okay, get the advanced pocket mode which works same like the traditional pocket mode that we already seen. But this new mode checks the proximity sensor only on the lock screen which helps to save more battery. Under the wallpaper and style application, we okay, get the theme icon for the dock application and it's working fine. Under the system tab of main setting, we we'll get the gesture option where all the old pixel device gesture settings are available like off-screen touch gesture to access the different setting in the phone. Volume keys playback and the device wake control both are working fine. Under the OnePlus setting we get the smart charging option. We also get the high brightness mode, force 90 hz refresh toggle, vibration strength control like the low, medium and the high. Haptic feedbacks fail same as the stock Oxygen OS haptic feedbacks. Except this, some other customization features are available under the home setting of the Arrows launcher. Here under the home screen tab, we get the double tap to sleep on the home screen, wallpaper scrolling and zooming toggles, theme icon for the home screen dock application, hot seat background for the home screen dock apps. Under the app drawer tab, we get the theme icon toggle for the app drawer applications, app drawer search bar toggle. Under the recent option, we get the slider control for the background opacity of the recent panel. We get the different options like the show memory information, extra options like the screenshot, lens and the clear all buttons under the recent panel. But the Google lens seems not available for the recent panel. Under the miscellaneous setting, we get the parallel application option. Under this, we can create the multiple parallel space. And under each space, we can create the duplicate applications for the install or the system applications. Here I created the for you take as a one user. Immediately after creating the user who gets the parallel Google Play Store application under the app drawer. I have enabled the parallel applications for the Chrome application and this seems working fine without any issues. Taskbar is another important feature which gives the access for the any dock applications anywhere in the system. 
who can access the application drawer anywhere in the phone, who gives the quick shortcuts for the, all the dock applications, who can drag and drop any taskbar application in the currently running app that will create the split screen. The biggest problem is that we can't able to minimize the taskbar by long pressing the corners of the taskbar. This may be the bug for the taskbar here. Next we get the hidden and the protected application setting which helps to hide or the password fingerprint protection for any system or install application in the phone. That's it. We discussed all the important features. Now let's check out most important part that is bugs. ROM has the call recording function under the dialer of the phone but it's not working. So we can't able to record the calls in this ROM. Next uh, missing feature is the Google Photos application didn't have the unlimited photo backup option. Double tap to wake and sleep option only works for the lost screen without AOD. If we enable the always on display then it seems not working. Except these minor bugs everything seems working. We already did the lots of testing and all the major features like fully working camera, smooth and stable performance and few but the unique and useful customization really makes this ROM topmost contender in the recommendation list. So that's it for today guys. If you think this video helped you then please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.